Okay, so this is going to be about two things, one royal and one political. Uh, first of all, Ron DeSantis, who is now the uh, re-elected governor of Florida, and um, Rosemary Carlson, viewer wants to know, um, you know about his uh, involvement with corruption. Also, um, another viewer wants to know, K.A. is her uh, handle, and wants to know if Prince of Wales, William, will he work? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. kinds of corruption uh, in Florida, I, I believe, anyway, and I'm from Florida. And uh, Rosemary Carlson, thank you so much, Rosemary, for asking the question, wants to know, and she asked this before the elections, but she wants to know, um, if what about Ron DeSantis' involvement in public corruption before the immigrant scandal? And were the feds who specialize in public corruption uh, investigating Ron DeSantis? Pretty deep question, so we'll ask that. And then K.A., the other uh, uh, viewer, thank you so much, K.A., for your question, uh, especially about the royals, wants to know if Prince of Wales William, it's hard to think of that he's now the Prince of Wales, but if William will work, will Prince of Wales William actually work? So we'll see what the cards can tell us about that. All right, this looks like it's working for us. Um, the questions today are viewer questions, and so we're going to ask uh, Rosemary Carlson. Thank you very much for asking. Um, so, Ron DeSantis. Okay, before this is this question was asked before he was reelected, but she wants to know um, his involvement in public corruption before immigration scandal. So are the feds uh, who specialize in public corruption investigating DeSantis? So was there something before the immigration situation where he's shipping people from other state actually uh, up to uh, the northern states? So was there something going on before that? And are the feds um, investigating that? But I'm going to leave it open for just if the cards want to tell us that they're investigating, let's find out or not. So, and then uh, K.A. is the other viewer, and uh, ask uh, Prince of Wales, uh, William, uh, will he work? Interesting. Will he work? So, we'll get that. Um, love these Impressionist Tarot. And the cards are so cool in their design. Uh, of course, I'll talk about them at the end of the video, but just to mention it again, uh, while we're looking at them now, you know, the, the way they're designed on the back of them is it looks like uh, it's a, the back of a, a picture, a frame. And there's a little catch, the little hook where you would uh, hang this picture on the wall. And uh, so that's what I, one of the things I really like about these cards. Um, so there we go. Impressionist Tarot. And the question is going to be um, Ron DeSantis. Uh, is he being, was he being investigated for public corruption before the immigration scandal? Let's see. You know, but before we do that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Ron DeSantis, what have you been up to? And have the feds been on to you for a while? Ron DeSantis. And he really took Florida in a big way. Um, I didn't uh, expect it. So, Ron DeSantis, have you been under investigation by the feds uh, before the immigration scandal? Let's just do three cards for that right now. One, two, and three. 
Has Ron been under investigation by the feds before the immigration scandal? First card. Okay, so this is the Three of Cups. So this is uh, a emotional situation. That's what cups are, the emotion, uh, passion. And uh, the Three of Cups is typically a celebration. Uh, th uh, three uh, folks getting together in a celebratory situation. So, huh, that might be a yes card. The uh, next one for that is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the Queen is the one saying, hey, we're going to get this done. So there's that. And then the last card for this is the number nine of the, um, is, yeah, number nine of the major arcana. So this is uh, shining a light at something in the, you know, to make sure before you make a move forward, the hermit card. So were the feds, feds investigating him before that? If you want to take them in this order, uh, that I laid them down, not that they came out of, of the deck, but in the order that I laid them down, you know, there's, there's someone been watching, okay? Being careful not to make a move until uh, they um, knew where they're going. Could be the feds watching. Uh, this Three of Cups is celebratory, emotionally celebratory, thinking, oh, okay, yeah, uh, I'm glad we were watching. And then the Queen of Wands is getting ready to move on her, her action. Not the king. Not definitely doing it right now, but the queen, you know, deciding when she's going to make that move. Could be that they've had their eye on him. Interesting. So Ron DeSantis, public corruption. Has he been under investigation? And what can, let's say, six cards tell us about that? Okay, because the cards seem to think that, yep, he's being, he's, he has been being watched. But uh, you got to remember, he's in the state of Florida. And um, even the feds can be corrupt uh, or not uh, in a particular state. I think it's that skew. You know, whoever's uh, telling the story, whoever's there looking, uh, is going to make a choice about what they say and what they tell and what they don't tell. So it, he's. let's see what the cards can tell us in six uh, cards about the feds watching Ron DeSantis apparently for a while now. So... Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, hmm. six. They've been watching him. How does that happen? And what could it be about? So six cards. Signifier card because since the first uh, draw suggested that they've been watching him and they're ready to make, maybe move forward, the signifier card for this is strength. Okay, so is it considering the strength of the action that they may have, the strength of the case that they may have? That makes sense. The challenge to the strength of what they may have is this two of swords having to make a choice. Yeah, having to decide, you know, if you're going to play this game. Okay, and uh, can you win it? But you got to remember, billiards is a good bit a game of chance, but also a good bit skill. I mean, if you really understand your angles and uh, how you hit the balls and, and yeah, so that's the challenge to, to the strength of the case is, uh, is, is playing the game. Then the base of the whole thing, well, this king of cups, cups are emotion, uh, compassion, and the king is the fellow who's really in charge. And, um, you know, this, I kind of see this sometimes as my Biden card, but, um, yeah, the, the, underpinning of this whole thing is making sure that this is being done for the right reason, uh, emotionally. Okay. The past of this for Ron DeSantis investigation, I'm ah, moving out of troubled water. So the six, oh no, not, no, this is wrong. The six of swords moving out of trouble. This is the nine of wands and, uh, the nine of wands is in, again, wands being actions, plans, forward movement and the nine being, um, really being in battle, really being, you know, uh, uh, troubled with this thing and, and look what he's got he's got what he needs to get out of the situation which the is what the nine of wands typically indicates but he's got a he's got lots of choices to make here you know which one do you use do you use a couple of them you know it's a it's a something that has to be thought through the sky of this as to the uh, feds uh, pouncing on ron because they've apparently been watching him is the seven of wands standing your ground, okay, fending off all these other actions that may be uh, uh, poking their 
wands up at you. This one uh, major wand here is really the uh, protector of what's going on behind here. So really understanding uh, your defense. The uh, likely outcome of this then with this two of wands is uh, short-term plans. Hmm. Interesting. So the Fed's been watching uh, for, according to our first draw. And um, what's what might happen? What, what are they thinking about that? Well, the, it, the strength of what they have is what's a major consideration. It's challenged by really playing that game, making a choice to play that game uh, uh, skillfully, underpinned by the emotion of the whole thing. Uh, and you do have to consider that because the first thing that would happen uh, if the Feds would bring something that's wrong is for him to say, oh, they're trying to prevent me from running for president. Uh, the past of this, uh, with this nine of wands, is that yeah, it always has been uh, a planning nightmare, really. And then the sky of it with the seven of wands is really knowing when and how you can uh, uh, proceed forward. And then the likely outcome of this is this two of wands is some short-term planning, really careful steps. Uh, let's get three cards just to say, will he be prosecuted for government crimes? That's what it, it would be. Will he be prosecuted for government crimes? And ever, you know, could happen. He becomes president and gets prosecuted after that. Who knows? But will Ron DeSantis ever be prosecuted for government crimes? Three cards. One, two, three. Okay. Will Ron DeSantis ever be prosecuted for government crimes? First one, oh, look at that. I love where the cards repeat. So this is a celebration, an emotional celebration. Next card up is the Knight of Wands fighting for that plan that you had. That would be the FBI. And uh, strength again, another repeat. Yeah, he will be eventually. I don't know when. I don't know if it'll be during his governorship, during his presidential run. Let's don't kid ourselves. He's going to run for president. Uh, during his presidency, if he does one, after his presidency. But he will eventually be... Um, yeah, there'll be a strong case uh, that will be carried uh, against him uh, for federal crimes. Interesting. We'll see. So now, uh, K.A. asks, thank you, K.A. I don't know what K.A. stands for, and I don't know if you're a man or a woman, but uh, K.A. asks, and this was a while back, will the Prince of Wales, uh, William, okay, work? Will Prince of Wales, William, work? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Will the Prince of Wales, William, work? So, first card up. Uh, three of Swords and uh, Broken Heart. Wow. Um... I wonder if this means he's going to be king uh, sooner than he would have uh, thought. Uh, the challenge to that, then, is this knight of... Is this a knight? No, I think this is probably... A, I'm going to say it's a knight, then. This is a knight of pentacles. So this is the one who's going to fight for their value. They're going to get out there and, and perform, okay? This is him. So th this is all about him. So uh, the question uh, K.A. asks is, will Prince of Wales William work? And the cards right away go to a, you know, a broken heart. That's what the Three of, of Swords is. It's just you know, disappointment. And then it's challenged is by this knight working for his value. The base of this whole thing, look at that. The royal cards start showing up. Is this Queen of Swords. The base of this is this Queen of Swords. So the Queen is, is really going to... Um, you know, stand for her truth, justice, rules, and law. The past of this, ah. so the past of this is the sun. Is it some really, really being in the spotlight, really being exposed? And that's um, certainly who he would have been as Prince of Wales and becoming king. And the sky of this then, strength again. Okay, that's what's going to be required. And then the likely outcome is will Prince William work? And this seems to be talking about a kingship here, is this Knight of Cups emotionally really fighting for that that battle wow and the question ka asks is will prince william as prince prince of wales work and uh, this says there'll be a broken heart here 
at the center of this. And it's challenged by really, uh, this is not a knight then. This is a page of value. This is the knight. So uh, this is the knight and this is the, this is the page and this is the knight. So this page is really going to bring the, the message of his value to the royal court. I'm so glad I read this through again. That's what the challenge of this broken heart is him getting his message across. I can be king. The base of it here is this queenly power for truth, justice, rules, and law. Maybe not being taken quite as, uh, as enough gravitas as a king. Uh, is the base of this, but he has to be king. And then the past of this is the sun. Well, really the spotlight that has been on him and certainly will have been on him as Prince of Wales for however long that may last. And in the sky, this is the strength that's going to be required for all of this. And then the final outcome with the now this, that I'm clear, this knight of cups is going to be fighting for his emotional value. Very interesting. I'm going to ask one more card, um, uh, one more draw rather about, since the cards seem to be talking about kingship, if you ask me, what else would be the uh, great disappointment in that signified card of the three of swords? So uh, William, is he going to be king in the next five years? Three cards. Will William be king in the next five years? One, two, three. Wow. We'll be king in the next five years. I have to admit, Charles doesn't seem all that healthy. Okay, so this is the Nine of Pentacles. This is really uh, the person that has all the value um, that they need and more. Okay. And I notice here, this is typically depicted by a, a very uh, elegant woman with you know, very moneyed. And so she's got her, her pentacles really displayed on the mirror in front of her. She's getting ready to put in, a, look at this, a hair piece, okay, to finish her look. And what is a prince except someone, someone who's waiting to put on that last coat that he'll ever wear to be king? But uh, this is a feminine energy. The center of this is, will he be king in the next five years? Ah, this is the uh, Wheel of Fortune right here. That's interesting. Crap shoot. And then the last card, well, if it does happen, this is the magician. And it's just telling us that he has all the tools that he needs to get it done. Why won't the cards answer us? I'm going to pull one more card um, right off the top. And this is the two of uh, one short-term plans. So that would indicate that it's a shorter-term plan than you might think. Huh. I said the next five years. Maybe we can take this to say yes. So I asked, will he be uh, king in the next five years? And it comes up with this Nine of Pentacles, a really wealthy, privileged person, not quite completely put together yet. And then the uh, next card up is that it's just a, a, it's the Wheel of Fortune. It's a crapshoot. We just don't know when that might happen. And then the final uh, card for that was this magician just reassuring us that he has the tools that he needs to get anything done. And then when I drew one more card with this Two of Wands, it's telling us, you know, this is speaking to short-term plans. So... Could be five years. Interesting. So that's what we have today. Well, those are the answers. Um, I hope you agreed with what I've said. If you don't, don't agree. Let me know. Be kind. Don't be rude. And uh, and um, you know, we'll see what happens. I, like this, the last few videos I've made have been on uh, viewer questions. A couple of times I forgot to mention the viewers and I apologize for that. But uh, I love to read on your questions. So let me know what you want me to read on and I'll do that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this Impressionist Tarot, these cards are everything that I've ever wanted in a set of cards except for the quality. And I'll tell you what I mean. The um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the, uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken Impressionist's um, that you will know of and, uh, and that you will see art in galleries and, um, and use their art to make these cards. And, um, and so what they've, they've taken the actual artwork, um, and sometimes 
uh, Arturo Pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination, or he may have blended a couple of uh, pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this uh, this work here. But they're gorgeous to use. I love them. And uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them. I mean, some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them you know, to uh, make them theirs. That's just not what I like to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. But uh, this Impressionist Tarot, I'm so happy with these cards. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.